All right, short video. Uh, last ride went out to Mine Maid in Kentucky. Uh, rode all day. Uh, got home that night, probably about one o'clock in the morning. Uh, came out the next day to wash the machine and realized that uh, I had ripped the boot. There was a little bit of grease on the tires and uh, went to look to replace it. Um, OEM is just way too expensive. Although I do, I, I think I prefer OEM just because if something does break, I'd rather it be the axle uh, versus anything in the transfer case. Um, but with that being said, I actually ended up getting something else. I didn't get the OEM just because of the price. What I did get was the Sixity. Um, this is an American company. I think they're uh, home-based out of California. This is the XTA version of this axle. They make an XT and an XTA. Um, just for the record, side-by-side side looking at this, um, I've already installed the, uh, the passenger side axle and this is the driver's side new one. So I, I bought a set. Um, the whole set delivered, I want to say it was about 230 bucks, which is the cost of one Rhino axle. Um, and for the cost of the Rhinos, I don't really think you're going to get that much better than, than what this is. Uh, it's a 4340 chromoly steel. Um, Again, this is the souped-up version. The shaft itself is, is quite a bit thicker than the uh, OEM. I don't know how well it shows up in the picture, but it is quite a bit thicker. Um, doesn't have as many ribs. Um, and getting these out, the one thing I've noticed is this is, a I, I think, a neoprene boot. Uh, feels really soft. It's supposed to be really flexible. It's supposed to be uh, pretty tear-resistant. This one, to touch it next to it, almost feels like a hard plastic, although I know it's not plastic. But by comparison, this one feels uh, really flexible. This one is really stiff and, and, and hard. Uh, I don't know if that's a benefit or a negative, but, um, but that's that. Uh, everything went in fine. The fit was perfect. Uh, everything slid back together perfectly. Um, but like I said, 60 versus OEM is what you're looking at here. And... Uh, I haven't even had it on the first ride yet, but if I have any issues, I'll give you guys an update. Take care.